Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov with you again and a weekly tradition continues. We're creating another demo project with Laravel and today I want to focus on CSV import, import data from CSV. And it seems like a simple task and a simple, well, everything, everything is known about it. So there are a lot of articles and tutorials, but most of them are focused on just getting the CSV getting it into an array and then importing it into the database. Missing the crucial part, because uh, CSV can contain uh, different columns that we expect and maybe uh, the users that are uploading that CSV don't take care of, of proper columns uh, matching each other. So we will take care of that and I will show you also how to do it quickly and shortly uh, with uh, plain PHP functions like parsing the CSV and also with Excel external package. So let's begin. Here's our project demo project which will uh, get the CSV which I've prepared. Sample CSV is just uh, three lines uh, name, email and uh, I'll show you uh, yeah this one. So that is sample without header and that is a sample with header. So that's another difference. So just name, surname, and email. First name, last name, email of, of people. Let's call them contacts. So it will get that CSV. Yeah, I've uploaded it now. Uh, no, not yet. So sample. Uh, it does contain header. We first parse that file. Then we present to the user which column represents which column. We're trying to guess that by header. And then we can change it. So import the data and only then the file is actually imported. And in the database, I'll show you SQL Pro uh, contacts. Only then it's actually loaded into the database. So that's what, we'll, what we're building now. Uh, as the last week, same here, I've built the project already. It's on GitHub. I'll link it uh, in the description of YouTube video. Uh, but now I will explain it. So uh, in the home page, I've taken the uh, fresh Laravel 5.5 uh, installation. Uh, I've run make auth, so that's the template, the default bootstrap template of make auth, and I've copied and pasted, uh, pasted login blade into that uh, import blade. Uh, right, so our, our routes are pretty simple. Three pages. Home page is the form to import, then parse is a temporary page to match the fields and the columns, and then we process it with, uh, with another controller method. In terms of database, we have a simple contacts table with first name, last name, email, nothing fancy here, and a simple model with contact fillables. That's it. Uh, then we go to our import blade, and this is how it looks. Also nothing fancy, almost copied and pasted from login form, so action is import parse, we are uploading files, so we need that, and there are two fields, so it's CSV file, and checkbox whether it contains the header, that's it. Uh, then in controller we have, I will show you all the controller now, but we will go one, by, one line by line. So parse import, is the function that actually parses that CSV and gets request. So it's a simple validation request, which just checks whether it's uh, whether the file basically is uploaded. Uh, first thing we need to do is actually to get the file. And in Laravel, it's a one-liner, just request file and get real path. And that path we will handle later. Then we have this. So actually parsing the data into, into the array. And there are two options here. If we have a header, we will use external package, this one, mat website Excel, uh, which will load the Excel and parse it into array. In a minute, I will explain why. Uh, otherwise, if we don't have a header, it's enough to, to use this one ladder to map the array with that function, and we will get the array of, uh, of fields. Now, why will we need that Excel package? This line is useful because it stores actually the header line and parses it into sluggable. So for example, if in the CSV we have a first name, it will be automatically slugged into lowercase and with underscore. So it will be uh, 
row first name and row last name instead of uh, so basically we don't need to parse the header line uh, manually with CSV with help of this package but otherwise if we don't have a header this is fine next what do we need next so we're parsing the data and we're passing we're passing it into the view to match the fields so if the data is not empty then let's skip this for now we're slicing it to two lines so that's enough to to uh, understand what fields are used so we don't need to pass everything but at the same time we need to store everything we need to store csv data in the database so we would be able to use that for import so we're par uh, passing two lines of, of CSV, but we're storing that into the database. And for that, I have a separate model and database table. So CSV data here, and there's file name, whether it's header or not, has header or not, and then the data itself in JSON format. And then also it's uh, CSV data with just simple fillables. Also nothing really fancy. So I'm saving it here and passing the file into, into the view so we will be able to store it as a hidden file so we would know what file are we actually processing. Right, and this part, final part, if we have a header, we're processing the first line, the first uh, line of CSV and adding that into the, into the array which will be uh, presented, I'll show that again, uh, here. So this thing will be uh, CSV header fields. Uh, and that's it basically. Then we go into that import fields view. Import fields. And what do we have here? We have a table. Uh, we have a post form to the import process. Uh, by, by then, by this point, we have the data in the database already. So we need just to match them. So we don't need to upload file again or anything. We have that hidden field of which file to process. Then if we have a header, we have a header fields, then we show them. And then we basically show that those two rows, two lines of CSV. And then the last row is for drop downs for those things. Uh, and uh, we have that CSV data, basically also repeating the first row. Uh, and then this part is important. We have a field list uh, of of the of the base of the database of the data table, and I I decided to store that in config app PHP. It's not really sexy, but uh, it's available everywhere, so we don't need to uh, create any new object. Uh, so we just loop through those fields, and then if we have a header, uh, we're trying to match the header column name, which is DB field. Otherwise, we're just using loop index, which will be 0, 1, or 2. Uh, and then if we do have a header, then we're trying to guess the field. So for example, first name and last name is actually being guessed. Uh, as, as you can see, automatically it's uh, the selected field is last name and email, and I didn't select that. Because this thing match, uh, matches the, this value. So that's a little magic, uh, and basically that's it. There's a form here, and we upload that form. Uh, we, I mean, we submit that form. We can change last name and first name, for example. Let's put it this way. We import the data, and as you can see now here, first we, we have CSV data here, and this is how it's stored in JSON, uh, and then contacts is stored, vice versa, it's first name and last name mixed. Uh, finally, the import itself, the processing part, it's pretty actually pretty simple. So we find the CSV data, we find the file, we encode, we decode the JSON data. This thing gives us array as a result, and then we just uh, we just create new object, and uh, with every uh, every uh, what's that called every variable. Uh, we fill it one by one and then we save into the database. Basically, that's it. No more magic. Uh, so that's the simple example of how to uh, import and parse the CSV with plain PHP functions and with help of Excel uh, Excel package, which actually we're using only this thing, this one line, so I'm not sure if it's actually useful. Uh, and that's it. Project is on GitHub and I hope it's useful to... Uh, 
to store the CSV file. If you have any comments, as usual, uh, hit, hit the YouTube comments and uh, I guess I could uh, add that this video is presented by myself, my Laravel Daily team. Uh, and uh, if you want to support us, please visit uh, our Laravel Admin Panel Generator at quickadminpanel.com. And see you in the next videos of Laravel Business YouTube channel.